everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today we're going to be going over my blue tongue skink, my Australian Northern blue tongue skink, otherwise known as Taliqua skinkoides intermedia. Sounds like a mouthful, but it's my blue tongue skink, my Northern. And this is her enclosure, so I'm gonna go over her enclosure, her care, her requirements that I have set up in here, and how much I love her. Her name is Sapphire. And I don't write these names on the, for me, I write them for my daughters, like to remember what their names are. So she's my blue tongue skinking Sapphire. But what I am gonna start writing on their enclosures is the temperature that their basking area should be on and what foods they like to eat. Because when my daughters are in here and if I'm not around, I want to make sure that they, because they know they have my temperature gun and they can check. That's Sapphire. I love Sapphire. Let me pull her out and show you. She's not really from Australia because she's born and bred here. Uh, they don't import out of our Australia anymore. Her name is Sapphire and she's one year old. So we're going to have a little birthday party. And look how big she's getting. What? Look at this beautiful patterns on her. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. And I'm going to go get her her favorite. Her favorite food isn't actually dog food. It's one of the cat food pâtés. So I'll get that for her. So I'm going to remove this only because we won't be able to see her. And that's on purpose. This is her setup. So right now that's her water dish. She'll usually walk right through it and then poop in it. That is her hot hide. When she wants to bask, she comes up on top. But for the most part, she is underground. She is, see the depth of this? She goes under here. I can see her walking through here. Over here, I got a little bit of dry kibble. Can you see that? A little bit of dry cow food. Even though this is quite dry, there's different layers of humidity through here. This uh, substrate actually has a whole cleanup crew that helps clean up the poop. And I can usually find them right underneath this water dish because, like I said, she poops in it. She's pooped in it since the beginning of the video. Look at that. Do you see these? Those are the orange powder and the lavender and the little purple isopods. This is her little setup. She's in a 40 gallon, front, front opening 40 gallon. So her basking area should be about 100 degrees, 90 to 100 degrees. Oh, can you see that? It's 99 degrees, which is perfect. So this basking spot up here, which is the hottest spot, that's about 100 degrees, but she can go underneath it in the log like she is now, and it's about 95 degrees. So she has a gradient here, and if she comes over here, it's like 80 degrees, and it just gets, gradually gets cooler. We talked about the, the basking light, but she also has a UVB light that runs the entire length of her enclosure. I'm talking about you, baby. She's over there hiding. She thinks she's hiding. She's not really hiding. Her water bowl, she usually goes through it. I'm sure she drinks. Um, she poops in it. It's like her toilet. So I got to clean that out twice a day. I do it in the morning before I go to work from whatever happened during the night. And then when I come home from work, I give her fresh water again. This bowl up here is I just put on a paper plate her actual dinner. So I don't know why even why I know I have, I don't even know why I have it in there, but I do. And I try to give her a lot of enrichment, a lot of places for her to crawl under, crawl over this. And I'm not, if you guys know me, you know, I'm not a fan of fake plants, but she's an underground traveler. <laughs> so this is the best I got to keep alive. Plus she gets misted. This side stays a little moister. The humidity level for a northern blue tongue skink is between about 25 and 40 percent. Whereas if you get uh, Indonesian, uh, the Marauki, some of the other skinks, it's more in the 40, 45 percent range. So they have a higher level of humidity than this little guy here. So she is an underground traveler and she loves to peek her head through those. And I don't know if she's playing. She's just, she's just so much fun to interact with. So this cutie pie should live between 15 and 20 years. This is my retirement baby. So she eats two to three times a week. Usually the cat food, she's transitioning now into dog food, grain free. I actually feed her, uh, not on a spoon. There's a stick that I stir up and cut up her food with. 
I, I, I spoon feed her. <laughs> I sp at least for the first couple bites, I spoon feed her just because I love it. She gets a variety of fruits and vegetables. Whatever I'm like feeding the tortoises for veg the tortoises and bearded dragons for vegetables, she gets that. And dubia roaches. I don't put crickets in here because I honestly can't stand crickets. I'm about to try some Bluey Buffet from Rapashi. I use a lot of Rapashi products. I really like them. I don't know if she will like them. So we're gonna test this out. We're gonna start with boiling water. What are we gonna make today? Today we're gonna to be making Rapashi Bluey Buffet. Can you say Bluey, buf Bluey Buffet? Bluey Buffet. Yep, we're gonna be making this for Sapphire to see yeah. if she likes it. Yep. So there's only two we're ingredients. Do it in this bowl. That's a good idea. We have and, two ingredients. And powder. We're pop this out. Mm-hmm. You need powder. Pop these. Powder. Yes. And boiling water. Yes. So you're gonna put the powder in. Yes. I'm gonna put the boiling water in. Yeah. And you're gonna mix it. Yes. And then we're gonna pour it and let it cool. Yep. So we're gonna do, do it. it. Yep, you are. We're gonna put one of these in the bowl, and then Grammy's gonna put two of these water in the bowl. So you hold that tight and then turn it into the bowl, not the table. Keep going. So you got it all. I got it. Is it all gone? Yep. I'm going to bring the boiling hot water in here. Are you ready? Well, if you can mix it without spilling any on the table, yes, you can mix it without the water. Nice and slow. All right, you ready? So yummy. You ready? Now let's put the bowl in the milk because Grammy doesn't want to hurt you. So don't stir anymore until Grammy comes back. You ready? This is one. Don't stir. That's two. Now look at me. Don't touch the bowl. I'm stirring very carefully because you know what? This is super, super hot. And they say to use two parts of water to one part of this, but sometimes they say to use three parts. So I guess if it's not thick enough, no, if it's too thick, we would add more water. But I think this is going to be good. Well, not to eat for us. Do you want to eat this for dinner? I'm going to start with the pink one. It's already starting to set. I don't know if you can see this. It's already starting to set, so you got to be kind of quick. So here we have Bluey Buffet. I'm putting one, two, three, four, five, six small pieces. And the reason I'm doing it so controlled this time is because I want to see if she actually likes it. And in case you want to see, she's, she's buried underneath it right now. Just to give you an idea of where she hangs out. I'm moving her dish. Here she is, here. She's just underground. That's all right, buddy. We'll see if she likes this. Oh, maybe we can see this way. Hi, pumpkin. She might not be hungry, but we'll see. This is my feeding voice. We got one little piece. We'll see if she likes it. Try another little piece, because I didn't catch that on camera. Oh, yeah, she's hitty. Oh, look at her eating that. Oh, she likes it. Good, good, good. I'm so happy. That's the Bluey Buffet. I'm going to put another whole slice on there. Okay, I'm going to put this back down. She can come out when she's ready. But now that I know she likes it, it's not going to go to waste. So I'm going to put a whole cube in there. I'll put a broken up one since I have to break it up. For, well, I don't have to. I tend to break it up for her anyway. You do know what she's doing, right? She's waiting to see if I'm going to keep feeding her. <laughs> I'm really happy that the Rapashi was a hit with her. Yes. So thanks for coming along with and checking out my Northern Blue Tongue Skink, Taliqua Skinkoides Intermedia. Today was her birthday and I appreciate you coming along. And I'll see you next time.